Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your weekly mystic. This is the reading for October the 24th through October the 30th of 2022. Remember, this is our weekly forecast to give you an idea of what each day's energy will bring so that you can kind of plan some strategy on what you're doing throughout the week. And we have our little affirmation decks here on the sides to help lend that energy, help us have a, a broader picture. So remember, that means this reading is a collective reading, which means it's for all sun, moon, and rising signs. We're moving in the energy of each day, and that means everybody is being brought into the picture here. So if you would like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, let's see what the cards have to say. We have the Six of Pentacles, which is the energy of a windfall, something coming in better than you'd hoped or for more than you would hope. And that's a beautiful blessing. It's money that doesn't have to be paid back. And then we have the Ten of Wands, which is absolutely fabulous energy, a breakthrough energy, being able to put down the burden. Finally, we're at the end of the struggle. There's The struggle is released, the burden is released, and you may now move forward with this little bonus that came in. So hallelujah, we will take that. So let's see what else we've got. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, and we're, we're making tracks. This is a yes from the universe, the eight of cups. So this is the energy of the universe saying all the obstacles that were standing in front of you are now behind you. You've overcome all of them. You've gone through all the lessons, and it's now you are free to move forward as the moon guides you, lighting up the entire horizon. All things are possible. So you're finally getting the... The hold pattern is broken off of you here. So we love that. I love it. I'm excited. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome and very, very appreciated. So, we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday... Friday and Saturday, Sunday. Beautiful energy. Hey, it's like it new, right? I, I'm telling you, my cards, they're just, they're super, super califragilistic, expialidocious cards. They have the abracadabra going on today because that's the card we had last. This is a really good energy. It's like a graduation energy. That's why I'm so excited it's here because... <laughs> So a lot of holds are being released. Plus we had that ten of rods assuring that the holds were broken and we're now able to step in. So that's a double confirmation. Magnetism. It's important to remember the energy you put out is what's drawing things to you. Now, listen, I know I get I get a little bit of a rap for being a, a, a little Miss Mary Sunshine. I'm always looking on the bright side. Well, that's because I'm casting out for the bright side to return to me. I want to be in the energy of receiving that abundance and that wonderful energy of staying in the positive. That doesn't mean that negative stuff doesn't show up. It just means I deal with it differently because I feel like that's a short-term thing and I'm not going to let myself get bogged down in it. So this is the same thing. You remember, you're, what you're speaking is attracting it to you. You're sowing the seeds of what's coming back. I attract and magnetize to me all that I need to get what I want. Now remember, this is also the same kind of mindset of I am constantly uh, receiving abundance from sources known and unknown. When I say that, I'm giving the universe an invitation to send that my way. I'm already receiving it the way I'm saying it, right? And being in the energy of knowing that the universe is definitely conspiring in my favor. It brings me exactly what I need, exactly when I need it, every single time. I'm magnetizing that outcome. So, yes, some other things may come in, but there'll be something to come in that will help me. And I know it will because it's done it many, many times. I believe it, therefore it is. And intuition. It's never a wrong thing to listen to your gut. 
My intuition guides me to people, places, and jobs that I enjoy. I feel like this. my intuition is part of what has given me some really good connections in this life. And I feel like that's part of what put me on on YouTube was my because literally I got the voice right so following that and allowing myself to go for it even though I didn't know what the heck I was doing something I did happened right right so following all of those guidings that I was getting from spirit and from divine actually put me in a place where I can now talk to all of you so that also see I'm drawing in people who are like-minded and that's just the way it is when you get in the energy of believing for yourself Whatever your outcome is you choose, you will draw it to you. And your intuition is part of listening to that, is part of what's helping you circumnavigate that. Big word, look out, circumnavigate. We have the emerald energy of compassion. Emerald is a beautiful stone. It, it's a wealth stone. It's a heart stone. It's the beautiful aura of very much in abundance and and being in a place of of heartfelt energy so emeralds uh are a big deal because em- uh cleopatra used to sew them into her clothing every everywhere so let me show you what a raw emerald looks like because this is not jewel quality because you know we got it at the rock shop but you see how it's a big tubular and and it's a hexahedron shape it's shaped in a f- sign like a stop sign it's got six sides and so they're big long crystal it's, it's about as big as two all the way up to my second knuckle that one goes all the way out to there and you can see the hexahedron shapes on the end of the crystal so it's a it's it, this is why you know sacred geometry is real because rocks grow in these forms right it's a vibration from the earth that actually puts it in this shape so um, just saying, the ingredients make it what it is, and all crystals have their own geometric pattern. But guess what? They continue to grow. If you were to put a small, tiny little frequency on this, it would grow more crystals on it. That they put. That's how they great. That's how they make um, um, lab diamonds and lab rubies and lab sapphires. They create them through that a little low frequency pulse of electricity that's hooked to it it literally starts to grow the crystal so they they already have the blueprint there divine feminine this is fertility abundance so the frequency of divine feminine supports our receptive nurturing and soft side allowing it to express itself openly and helping us to connect to our intrinsic understanding of our connection to all of creation so when the feminine is all about fertility and growth and connections and compassion and being in the energy of nurturing. So we love that. And yes, I, I did not put this set of cards out, so don't don't worry. I know somebody was going to go, don't forget. Well, let's get the clarifiers out here. I was, I was yammering on, having a good time talking. And see, that's how you know I'm just kind of organically sitting down and just letting it do its thing. I didn't show you the bottom card of the deck before I turned it, but it was the uh, Wheel of Fortune, for those of you who like to know those things. I know it because when I sat it down, I knew what the bottom card was because I just shuffled it, and uh, I was pretty excited that that was there, and I thus didn't forgot to show it. But Wheel of Fortune is the, was the bottom card, so we'll take that as a very good sign, and... And our bottom card is the Eight of Pentacles. This is the energy of the apprentice really studying and being in the energy of paying very close attention to all the details, polishing a skill to where you master it. And that's also the Eight of Cups side by side. So this is mastering something to the point of where you become expert at it. And the Eight of Cups is saying you've done all the work and it's time to move forward. So that's definitely part of that graduation energy. Whatever you're learning or mastering, you're now going to take that on the road. So let's see what Monday's energy is. <laughs> wow, we'll take that. We have the chariot. The chariot is an absolutely fabulous energy. This is being in your 
big success. This is coming through with flying colors being head and shoulders above the rest in the energy of success. It's the Cancer Major Arcana, but it means an overwhelming victory, like putting you in the status of Cleopatra. You see the 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 energy there. She's the beautiful energy of the... She is an empress, right? And being in the energy of being treated like royalty. Everyone recognizes you for your skill. Now we have the Four of Cups here. And you can notice that somebody may be trying to offer you something that you don't really know the value of. So you're ignoring the offer. Remember, blessings do come in brown paper bags. Just because it's not all fancy and, and in a nice container or the person that's offering may even be somebody you don't care for i cannot tell you there i can't even i don't even know if i could count how many people have actually uh been somebody that i didn't really care for they really kind of were off-putting and um they end up doing me a great favor and it's like the universe compelled them to do it so you just never know where your offer or your where your savings is going to come from or where this you know a, an extra leg up right or support just be open and let the universe show you vet everything before you say no is basically the thing just because it's not somebody you really want to deal with or ever deal with in the regular they might have something really good to connect you with because you know the universe uses them to bring good things in even though they might be kind of sketchy sometimes that's the way they have to redeem themselves by doing something good for someone else so you just never know Ooh, Queen of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles for Tuesday. What an amazing energy. So the Queen of Swords is absolutely acing it, whether you're doing a public speech or having to speak to a group of people, or you're applying for a job and you're doing the interview, you absolutely ace it. And having the connection to Source, it's like you sort of mesmerize them with your ability to be articulate and and flow with the energy and and show your knowledge now if some of you are doing what i do for a living or some kind of energy work this means you're really in the top energy on tuesday and then you've got the nine of pentacles which is the garden of eden energy and that's where you have the blessing of all the things that you are moving toward this is where you say to yourself remember this card echoes your belief that you are always, 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 I know that I know that I know that the universe is conspiring in my favor continuously. It brings me exactly what I need, exactly when I need it, every single time. Adam and Eve did not sit around and worry whether or not uh, they were going to be fed, right? Or that something was going to show up or that they weren't worrying about making a house note. They weren't they were taken care of, absolutely 100%. So that's where you got to remember, the universe will provide as long as you're in the mindset that you have that privilege, that that is something it can do. If you don't know that's something it can do, then you don't know how to use it. So stay in the energy of belief that the universe is conspiring in your favor. Now, Wednesday, you've got all this stuff coming in. This is literally the dump truck load of blessings, the seven of cups. And that means there's a lot happening very fast, all at the same time. Don't let it stress you out. Just do one thing at a time. That's all you can do. Pay attention to this and then finish that and then go to the next thing and finish that. And, and you'll work through it. Remember, sometimes we need a wheelbarrow and a shovel. But that's okay because this is your stuff that you're using the wheelbarrow and a shovel. It's going to make you the, the abundance. And this is the moment you're like, but it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> the nine of rods is the clarifier. It's telling you hang in there any second. Any second. So don't don't turn your head. Don't give up on it. Don't walk away. Stand your ground because you have to be present to win. Okay? So that's Wednesday's energy. Thursday's energy is the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. So the Three of Pentacles is the double for your effort here. The double for your trouble. Because he's doing the groundwork. He's creating whatever the, the value is through his own effort. And then by doing it himself... He, there's nobody else involved in it. So he gets the reward times two. Then you've got the two of swords telling you don't try to make all miracles logical. You have to go within in your higher self and focus in your spiritual energy to manifest what you want to see outside of you. What's happening outside of you is, the, is a reflection of what you believe to be true. And it shows up to make you right. To confirm you. Right? So 
when you go within and you go, you know what, anything is possible, then that confirmation comes back and something comes back to blow your mind because it's, you've given the, the room to a miracle rather than trying to make it make sense. It will never make sense. So if you try to use logic on a miracle, you're just cutting it to pieces. Ooh, hello. Somebody's got a yes answer here. This is the eight of rods with the Hierophant. The Hierophant is the Taurus Major Arcana. And that's the energy of a yes. Somebody's saying you're accepted. You're being welcomed in. And then this is the negotiation and communication as to terms. The eight of rods. So it's happening pretty quickly. That's Friday's energy. The Hierophant and the eight of rods. And... The weekend energy is the seven of rods with the king of rods. So stand your ground. Don't let anybody give you, you know, in any fear. Don't listen to the naysayers. They have, they're not the ones walking the walk. So you go with what's in your intuition and you allow yourself to stand your ground. Because sometimes we know something in our gut. And just because somebody else can't, it's, it's hard to share some things with other people because you don't want them to to resist the 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 thing that you're trying to create and then they start tearing it apart so sometimes we have to just keep our just like you know what i'm not trying to i'm not trying to tell you all what i'm thinking y'all just gonna have to trust me because that's the king of rods and that's either you being in power or being in the energy of whoever is in power there you're you're in that energy being accepted by them so it looks like somebody's getting a big fat promotion is what it looks like to me. And there may be other people who are kind of hating on you, but don't worry about that. They they can they can hate all they want to. That doesn't change the fact that you're you're really being blessed by this. So we've got a beautiful energy for the week, lots of new prosperity, lots of yeses, and the ability to move forward in abundance. So let that struggle be gone and done. You have passed the test and you're now on the other side of all of that. I send you lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace, happiness, joy, abundance, and divine prosperity with divine healing to you all. And I'll see you next week. Namaste, my friends.